hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how to make your own mini network attach storage or nas using banana pi m40 so here you can see i have banana pi m40 running the minimal ubuntu operating system okay now i want to use this banana pi m40 as nas server then how I can use it. Okay, which software I have to install and after creating a NAS server using Banana Pi M40, how I can access it. Okay, we have this Banana Pi M40 which is connected with my local Wi-Fi. Okay, now the IP address of this Banana Pi M40 is 192.168.1.14. So let's ping it first. So ping 192.168.1.14. And here you can see we are getting successful ping. Okay, now we will log in to the terminal of our Banana Pi M40. So SSH, then username root, and then at the rate 192.168.1.14, the IP address of our Banana Pi M40. And the password is TOR. And here you can see we are successfully logged into the Banana Pi M40. Now here you can see okay so total 55 gb is available in my banana pi m40 and here is the ram so total 2.5 gb and 2 gb is free okay now i want to use this banana pi m40 as nas server so for that i have created one script okay which you can directly use it to create your own nas server okay so first of all you have to run this command to create the script okay so i'm going to paste that command here in the terminal of banana pi m40 it will open one editor now in this editor you have to copy this entire details okay this is the entire script which you have to use so i have copied it now i'm going to paste it here okay and uh, here you can see our entire script is here now you can press ctrl x and then you can press y to save it okay so we will use ls and here you can see here is our bash script which we can use to update our system to set up the date in our banana pi m40 to install the samba okay to create the user for samba okay to set up the password everything so instead of running all this command manually i have created this script okay which will set up everything for you including root user and the password tour okay you can change the username and password as per your requirement but i have set it up for myself okay so after that once you create this script and once your script is available inside the root folder what you have to do is you have to change the uh, script as executable okay so we have run this command and then after let me clear my screen here and then we will run our final command to execute all of this command to install samba to update our system to make necessary directories to update the config file okay to create the uh, root user to extract the ip address of our banana pi m40 to extract the port and everything so i will just paste that command here and then i will hit enter okay so this script execution is completed successfully okay here you can see added user root fetching the ip address of our banana pie okay now samba server setup is complete and we can access our network attached storage server 
using this IP address and this port number. And we have already configured the username root, as you can see here, and the password tour. Okay. Now our NAS server is successfully running inside our Banana Pi M40. And here you can see the IP address 192.168.1.14. And here is the folder in which we can put our files. Okay. And here in our Banana Pi M40, we have used this 64 GB of SD card. So total capacity of our NAS server is 64 GB. Okay. And you can consider it as uh, apart whatever uh, space available apart from the operating system that will be available for your NAS storage. And if you insert the pen drive here or insert the hard drive here, then how you can use that as a NAS that we are going to cover in the next video. But we'll see how you can access it first of all. So here is the IP address, okay, 192.168.1.14. So you can copy this IP address. You can open your Windows Explorer. And then here you can provide that IP address, okay. So here you can see slash slash 192.168.1.14. And once you provide that IP address here, you will have the NAS server folder here. And inside that here, you can put your files. And that file will be going to store in your Banana Pi M40. So if I create any folder here, suppose if I create some folder, which is test folder. So this folder is going to be created inside the Banana Pi M40. So let me show you that. So here we will navigate to the home directory. Okay. So here you can see we have the home directory. So CD home and then we have the pi directory here. So CD pi and here we have the NAS directory. Okay. So CD NAS and here you can see that test folder. Okay. If I create one more folder here, new test two. Okay, then that will be available here again. Okay, so uh, whatever folder you can create, whatever file you will put here, that will be going to store in your Banana Pi M40. Now you can access this NAS server in your Android phone as well. Okay, so here is my Android phone. Okay, let me adjust this. Yeah, so here is my Android phone and here I have the Samsung Android phone. Okay. And here you can see the network storage option. So I can click on the network storage and I can click on add network storage. Now we have created network storage using Samba. So I'm going to select the third option. It will search for the available network storage across my network. Okay. And here you can see Parrot 192.168.1.11 colon 445 but we have to change the IP address here. So I'm going to click it here. Instead of 11, I'm going to provide 14 because 14 is the IP address of my Banana Pi M40. The port number is 445. The username is root. The password is TWR tour. Okay. And I'm going to leave it as parrot only. Okay. And then I'm going to press add. And here you can see NAS server folder is available. I can open it and here you can see test and test to folder which we have created in the Windows machine that is available in my phone. Now here on my desktop you can see this book one file. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste that file into my NAS server. Okay, so that will be available here. So NAS server. And here you can see book1.xlsx file is available here. So this is how you can exchange the data between your Android phone and Windows machine. And all of these files is going to be stored in your Banana Pi M40. So let me run the ls command here. And here you can see book1.xl taste and taste 2. So all the files are going to store in our Banana Pi M40. Okay, so this is how you can create your own mini network attached storage using Banana Pi M40. And so for that, you just have to grab your Banana Pi M40, 
you have to prepare your SD card with Ubuntu operating system. Okay. In the previous video, we have covered that how you can getting started with the Banana Pi M40 and how you can flash the minimal Ubuntu operating system onto the SD card and how you can do the full setup. Okay. So you can follow this video. To, and once you set up your Banana Pi M40 and once your Banana Pi M40 is connected with the Wi Fi, then you can directly jump to this video. Okay. And in this video, you have first have to run this command to create this file. Once you create this file, you have to paste the entire content of this uh, commands to this .sh file. Then after you have to change the file type to the executable. And then after you have to run that file type. And then you don't have to do anything. It will handle everything automatically it will you know synchronize the time okay it will auto update your system you don't have to put any password for your um, samba setup okay so i hope this thing is clear that how you can create your own mini nas using banana pi m40 now you can follow the same method for your banana pi m4 berry as well okay so i'm going to cover that in the next video also we'll cover that if any pen drive or any hard drive is connected with this usb c port then how i can include that in my nas server okay so if i have 8 gb of memory card okay but i have 2 terabytes of hard drive and if i have connected that hard drive here then how i can use that as a nas server okay so that thing we are going to cover in the next video but I hope this thing is clear that how you can set up your basic NAS server using Banana Pi M40. So if you have any question or any doubt, then you can always ping me on Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere. Also, you can send me a mail. Also, you can ping me on LinkedIn and you can comment on this video. All of the command and all of the uh, bash file uh, details is available on our website. I will put this link in the description of this video. You can go there and you can copy paste and you can follow this video. Okay, so let's meet in the future videos. Till then, take care, goodbye, and thank you.